these five finalists are exceptional. There are three books that deal with three different art forms for this former art historian and ballet of Maine and lover of literature, that's a gift. But they are written by Canadians about our national and international pasts. Two of these books deal with a different aspect of our culture, which is our histories. And frankly, both of these books are timely reappraisals that taught me that I really needed to rethink what I thought I knew, and especially that it's never too late to learn. This year's selection is most impressive. A portrait of Celia Franca and the National Ballet of Canada, an examination of the impact two of our prime ministers had on our history, the life of P.K. Page and the evolution of Canadian literature and culture, the mastery of Leonardo da Vinci, and one of the most iconic images in art, and the relationship between faith and politics in the United States. All of these books are worthy of recognition, and all of them required years of work. RBC Wealth Management is proud to be the presenting sponsor of the Charles Taylor Prize for the third year. It has not only nurtured the literary landscape in Canada, but has also inspired it. It has helped create the foundation for a vibrant and, and thriving non-fiction literary scene and raise the profile of our Canadian heritage and character to the world. The winner of the 2013 Charles Taylor Prize for Literary Nonfiction is Andrew Preston. <laughs> It's a tremendous honor to be recognized with the Charles Taylor Prize because of who's won it before, but because of Charles Taylor and because of Noreen Taylor's vision for this prize. It recognizes writing, it recognizes literary nonfiction with an emphasis on literary. And to, to be a part of that tradition is, is more of an honor than I could ever really articulate.